What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video I want to talk about gold. Is it going to go to an all-time high, and if so, will it continue to go up from there? One strategist at Bank of America is predicting $2,500 gold this year. So is that a possibility or is this just wishful thinking? That's what I want to talk about in this video. Let's get into it. Thank you so much for watching. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, I want to let you know I have partnered with US Gold Mining Inc. to bring you this video. We'll talk about them later and the awesome opportunity that they have. But first, what's going on with gold right now? I want to read one part of this article because I think think it paints a really clear picture of what's going on right now. Uh, so bottom line, non-commercial purchases do not need to increase materially to justify gold hitting $2,500 an ounce this year, the Bank of America strategist stated. Inflows into ETFs will be critical and dynamics in assets under management will be a crucial indicator confirming whether price gains can be sustained. Sustained. The note comes at a time when central banks have been purchasing large amounts of gold in 2023. China, for one, boosted its gold stockpile by 18 tons in March, propelling its National Reserve's holdings of the precious metal to over 2,000 tons. As reported by the World Gold Council, the trend of central banks' gold acquisitions, which started in 2022, has continued continued into 2023. Additionally, statistics from Google Trends reveal that during the first week of April 2023, the search query how to buy gold garnered a perfect score of 100. So not only is it the central banks buying up massive amounts of gold, but it is individuals as well. If we look at this chart here, we can see last year in 2022, central banks bought up more gold than ever before. Four, and this trend is continuing into 2023. All eyes and ears, for that matter, will be on Jerome Powell at the next FOMC meeting on May 3rd to see not only if they will do another 25 basis point rate hike, but also what are their plans for for future rate hikes. Will this be the last one? If we look at the CME Group FedWatch tool, the target rate probabilities for the next meeting, we see 81.1% chance of a 25 basis point rate hike. However, when we move into June, they're actually predicting no more rate hikes at this point in time. Fast forward to September, they're actually predicting rates will begin to be slashed. And in December, they're predicting yet another rate cut. So if these predictions are correct, this would be extremely bullish for gold. We would easily see it surpass its old all-time high. And $2,500 an ounce, to me, seems like a very reasonable prediction for 2023. I believe we are in the middle of of an inflationary reset. I think there's gonna be crazy times ahead. The road will be bumpy and central banks see this. They know what's coming and they're positioning themselves to come out ahead, which is why they're buying up more gold than before. But we don't have to sit back and do nothing. We can do what the central banks are doing. We can transfer our wealth out of the fiat currency system and into real physical gold as well. I just bought another gold coin to add to my stack. Anytime I buy more gold or more silver, I feel confident that my wealth is going to be protected. These are safe haven assets. People are waking up to the fact that they need to own gold, they need to own silver, and they're starting to move more of their wealth 
into these metals. Now, when it comes to investing in precious metals, as I've said before, the safest way to do it is just to buy physical gold, buy physical silver. But if you're looking to grow your wealth, you can look at investing in some of the mining companies. Today, I'm talking about a new mining company that I've never talked about before. It's US Gold Mining Inc. Before we dig in, I have to say, I'm just providing this for informational purposes. You should always do your own research before making any investments. Now, looking at U.S. gold mining, the opportunity here is pretty insane. This company is basically brand new. It's a spinoff of another mining company that I'm very familiar with, but their main project, Whistler, is located up in Alaska, and the gold that they have there in the ground is currently being valued at like $10 an ounce, which is ridiculous because the last three buyouts in this region have happened at over a hundred dollars an ounce implying massive upside potential so what do i mean by their gold being valued at only ten dollars an ounce this seems crazy right well if we look at their investment highlights we can see they've got three million ounces in the measured and indicated category 6.4 million ounces in the inferred category if we add those two together that gives us 9.4 million ounces of gold at this property and we know that they have 17 million dollars in cash which they're going to use to further drill this property but if we look at their market cap it's only 111 million dollars so if we minus the 17 million in cash from the 111 we get 94 million dollar valuation for 9.4 million ounces of gold so again the gold at this property is only being valued at ten dollars an ounce currently but other projects of this size have seen valuations around forty dollars an ounce but with the recent buyouts in the area at over a hundred dollars an ounce it seems like they're massively undervalued on top of that another catalyst i see for u.s gold mining is the fact that they still need to drill this property they're gearing up for a 15 thousand meter drilling program and no drilling has even been done since 2011 so think about all of the advancements in technology over the last decade which are going to go into this drilling program not to mention the fact that their ceo tim smith is a professional geologist with over 25 years of experience so they have the team they've got the location and the timing is right as well lastly look at their share structure 80 percent of their shares are owned by gold mining inc five percent owned by insiders look at the institutional support here sprott one of the biggest names in gold mining so shares are very tightly held these people are betting on this company to succeed they are publicly traded on the nasdaq under ticker symbol usgo if you want to check them out for yourself and see if they're right for you and your portfolio i will put a link with more information down down below in the description as i wrap up the video here i want to ask the question where do you see gold price going from here are you predicting an all-time high let me know down below in the comment section i want to say a big thanks to us gold mining inc for partnering with me to help make this video possible i want to say a big thanks to all of you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next one silver dragons out